So welcome back to episode 15 already for my gaming pickups and as you can see I got quite a lot of games for almost all the systems, no for really all the systems uh, that I have for the PlayStation and even a new PlayStation hardware, the last one that I actually needed. First up is I got an extremely good deal on a bundle, it was bundled with Street Fighter 4 got it for 25 euros including 6 euro shipping so it's pretty much only 19 euros and that is the arcade stick of the 15th anniversary of Street Fighter 4 in absolutely good condition yeah this is the right way I'm not really good at uh, fight sticks I already have this fight stick uh, I got it in the box but it's a fight stick I love the art design and for pretty much 19 euros, how can I pass this up? Well, I couldn't. So really great to have. As you can see, also for a great price for 30 euros, including shipping. And again, 6 euros shipping, pretty much um, 22, uh, 24 euros. I got a totally new in the box. He got it with his telephone with a bundle and he didn't want it. So the PlayStation TV was totally sealed and as you can see I kind of destroyed the seal. I played a couple of games on it, it definitely is awesome to finally play handheld games on the bigger screen. And this PlayStation TV I will use to play like PSP downloads and PlayStation 1 downloads so I don't need to use my PS3 for it anymore, at least for the PS1 games. Um, let's, uh, what will we begin? Let's uh, begin with the PlayStation 1. For the PlayStation 1 I got two incredible games. And I think this is incredible deals. For 6 euros I got Shadow, uh, no, Samurai Showdown 3. Or was it 2? No, 3. Really cool, in great condition. I love the Samurai, Samurai Showdown games. And there is a rumor that a new Samurai Showdown is in the works. That is incredible, I hope it's true. Now this is the grand jewel of my, play of one of the grand jewels of my PlayStation 1 collection. One of the hidden, no, one of the gems, one of the grand prizes for any Japanese RPG collector um, for the PlayStation 1 and I got it for an incredible price. It, I think it was 15 euros, the original Saukoden, holy shit. The box is a, is a bit damaged, but hey, you can easily buy a really cheap PlayStation 1 game with a great box. The only downside is no manual. But I have to admit, I'm not really a manual guy. I don't really care about it. But for the diehard collectors, they're like, oh, blah, 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 you know, no manual, whoops. But yeah, Saukoden, I finally got it, holy shit. The PlayStation 1 is definitely the console that I am the least happy about. I only have like 114 or 20 games on it, 100, 120 games. It's not that great, even though the library of the PS1 is absolutely massive. Now let's uh, go now on to the PSP for 2 euros. I got Cyanide Resurrection, it's a 3D shoot 'em up. Uh, and I finally got some new games for the PlayStation Vita. I haven't collected for it for a very long time. Um, I got an imported one. It's pretty pricey, but you will know that this game is going to be incredibly expensive. So I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to buy it now because I really want the physical uh, copy. So sad that it's not having a PS4 physical copy. Darius Burst uh, C. CS Chronicles Savior. I played it on the PlayStation TV. This game is fantastic and what the fuck. This game on the PS4 on PlayStation Network is 60 euros. Are you fucking kidding me? 60 euros? <laughs> oh no. And then the developer is like, oh this game failed. Of course it failed. And Dungeon Traveler still been playing this a lot on the PlayStation TV. It's a dungeon crawler, 2D dungeon crawler with 3D dungeons. 
It's really cool. I love the art design. The story is great. It's really simple but hard to master and I'm enjoying this game a lot. Um, let's say for the PlayStation 2 I got some European and Japanese game. First up is Armored Core 9 Breaker. I actually didn't knew that I didn't have this game and I think I got all of them now for the PlayStation 2. Dynasty Warriors for Empires. Also in Hidden Gem is rated, uh, at least the USA version is rated at one of the rarest and most expensive PlayStation 2 games you can get. And I got it really cheap for 10 euros or 15 euros, what was it? I, I don't remember. But I got Klonoa 2. Haven't played it yet, but I still need to play it actually. Really cheap, I got Dragon Guard. And really cheap, I got a bundle. And this is the bundle I got with Japanese games and one European game. Mega Man X Command Mission. This is pretty expensive though, it was 25 euros. I'm not really sure if it's worth that money. But these were uh, 2 euros each. Uh, Sengoku Basara 2. Um, I have no idea what this is. I think it's a Gundam game. Uh, Virtual Mars, I tried it out, it's really old school, <laughs> the controls are pretty bad, but the design is really cool and look at the box art, it's so awesome. You know I love Guilty Gear, so I got Guilty Gear XX, uh, also a Gundam game. Um, this, I know what the game is. It's like a tactical RPG with all kinds of anime uh, robots, so Gundam and all these other animes in Japan, but I forgot how the name is called. There was a new one coming out for the PS4 and it's getting an Asia English version. And also another fighting game, but I look at the box art and I'm like, look how awesome the box art is. It is actually the Japanese version of, I think it's called Fighting Force. Or it was a really bad fighting game, like really bad. And if you look at this box, you're like, oh my god, this game was awesome and it plays awesome, but it sucks. But hey, whatever, I didn't knew it. But I got a couple of Japanese games again. Being it's been a really long time since I bought for the PS2, so I could uh, fire up my Japanese PlayStation 2 again. For the PS3 at the local game store, there was a used deal where you buy three used games and you, it was only 15 euros. And for the United States, that's a lot of money. It's like 5 euros for each game, but here it's pretty uh, inexpensive. So I got Devil May Cry 4, Monster Madness Grave Danger, I finally got Grand Turismo 6 and I'm actually playing it, I'm loving it and believe it or not, it's really weird to say this, but I got almost all of the PS3's exclusives, including the Japanese RPGs. I still need to pick up a couple of RPGs and I'm not really sure uh, Sony exclusives, but then I got all the exclusive ever released for the PS3. That is so weird. At the moment I got 126 or 24 PS3 exclusives. That's a lot of games. Army of Two, The Devil's Carl, Never Dead, Siren Blood Curse. Golden X the Beast Rider, I know this game is bad, but I just wanted to have it. For 8 euros I got Borderlands the pre-sequel, even though I got the uh, pack on the PS4. I love this game so much, I just want to have a physical release separately for the collection of my PS, um, PS3. And I got the Tomb Raider trilogy, the classic HD, because yes, finally they are so cheap and I'm gonna uh, collect all the HD remasters for all those PS2 games. So those were a couple of PS3 games and also I am almost at 300 PS3 games. 
it's catching up the PS2 uh, definitely. Um, I'm also, by the way, almost at, at 1000 games. I now have 995 games. Holy shit, almost 1000. And like for every collector, the 1000 is like the magical number. Then it means you are a serious collector, so <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. One of my most anticipated games this year finally came out and for some reason since I am working out again a lot actually uh, I'm really tired all the freaking time because I'm working out so hard I haven't been able to play it that much but hopefully this weekend since it's uh, another day off you know Easter weekend I can play it Senran Kagura Estival Versus and you got a free art book with it I have played it for like five or six hours. The game is absolutely fantastic. It may be edgy, it may be really weird, it may be really weird if you like live with your parents or live with a roommate and you're playing this game, see all these boobs and these sexual texts. But if you can look past that, this is an incredible beat em up uh, with great graphics, great sound. It's just with a ton of content. This is just a really well-made game. Try it out, check it out. This game needs to, uh, to be supported. And I'm loving it that this is getting a physical Western release. I'm like, holy shit. The game that uh, got released yesterday and I've been playing it, you can see my stream on my site or on my page. Track Mania Turbo, what an awesome game this is. I'm having a blast playing it. It's only 38 euros, and it definitely is more fun with friends. Online is also fun with 100 players on one track. It's totally frantic. It's a great game, and I can't wait to play it more. Um, uh, of course, this couple of like this three months had a lot of exclusives coming out and Japanese games coming out, and one of the biggest was Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. This game needed to be a success for more Digimon games to come out, for uh, Namco Bandai finally knowing that, hey, what the fuck, not only Tales of is selling, but also other RPGs, and hopefully they're gonna announce even more. And you know what? Namco Bandai actually announced that more than 150,000 units has been sold in the United States, making it a big success, not even counting Europe. This game is fantastic. If you love old school RPGs and you like Pokemon and you like Digimon, go get this. I was blown away that a Vita game can look so good on the PS4. This looks like a PS4 game. Buy this game. Really cheap. I got Godzilla. I mean, it's exclusive, it's a PS4 game, it was like 8 euros, shut the fuck up, I need to get it. Uh, I got it for 12 euros, Arcania the Complete Till. It looks like a really cool western style RPG, I love these games. Uh, I grew up with Warhammer and Dungeons and Dragons, so it definitely is a soft spot. Haven't tried it out yet since I'm playing all the other games. Pretty much same with Rayman Legends. Uh, the same with Thief. Ziggurat, this indie game published by Sudesco, and you can check it out in my episode 2 of the Physical Master Race. You need to try out this game. It's awesome, absolutely awesome, and only costs 20 euros. Now, wait by importing it. Sudesco is publishing all these games physical also in the United States, but at the moment only here in Europe. Also, one of my most anticipated games this year was Earth Defense Force 4.1. This game is great. Finally, it runs at an almost 60 frames per second. 90% uh, of the time is absolutely over the top. It's frantic. It's a blast to play. <coughs> it's uh, great to play with friends and it runs solid. We're even playing a two player split, split screen. Ton of content, I'm having so much fun with this game. So I got this game for like 10 euros, Lego The Hobbit, but when I got it, 
is from like a marketplace, it's like eBay, but not here in Holland. The case is all shattered, or at, at least the, how do you say it, like the paper is all shattered. So I'm definitely looking forward to a cheaper, better version, but hey, at the moment I've got this version. Uh, Assassin's Creed Chronicles came out, the trilogy, still sealed, haven't played it. Gravity Rush Remastered, again an exclusive, so many exclusives this year, we all knew it was going to happen, but it's so weird to look at them like, hey, another exclusive. This game is absolutely mind-blowing, fantastic. At the end of the video, you can check out the review of this game, it's great. Last but definitely not least, a game that if you haven't picked it up, you're gonna have a really hard time or paying a lot of money to, to, to get it. It's Saturday morning RPG for the PlayStation 4, published by Limited Run Games, and they only um, make one limit, one print run of every game they are going to publish. One print run and this game is only 1980 copies in the entire world so I am super happy that I got it of course I'm not gonna open it I do want to play it but I'll be waiting for a digital version to drop in price or be a PlayStation Plus game so these are all the pickups that I made quite a lot maybe a bit too much uh, definitely on the PS4 side but all these good deals and all these exclusives I just cannot um, not by then, it's really weird. Leave in the comments below which games did you pick up? Which games are you going to pick up? Are you going to pick up Uncharted? Are you going to pick up uh, what's that other game? Uh, Wretched and Clank. You need to pick up Wretched and Clank. That game needs our support. And like always, you will see me next time. Don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Descriptions in the, uh, the information in the descriptions below. Also, you can uh, add me on the PlayStation Network. Also, my name is in the description below. Like always, you will see me next time. And, and here's an overall shot hey, first. Yep, the game is coming out physically so, and yeah. it looks splendid.